Hi, my name is Vidya Brainerd and I'm 22 years old. Um, ever since I can remember, so say about since I was five years old, I've had this irrational fear of being sick. So whenever I felt sick or vomitish or if someone had a bug around me, I would just get really anxious, start crying and I just wouldn't want to deal with the situation at hand. Um, and up until about two years ago, when I started researching on feeling sick and whether it's an actual fear, I didn't think it was an actual fear. I thought, you know, it's not like being afraid of spiders, being afraid of heights and stuff. Um, and then when I went on YouTube and stuff, I saw loads of people who had emetophobia and they were just complaining about it, but none of them actually really knew what helped them. So I tried counselling, I tried going to the doctors who prescribed me antidepressants because they thought it was clinical depression. Um, and none of this stuff really helped. I also tried CBT. And then quite recently I had a friend, and it, I think it was um, Mental Health Awareness Day last year, I had a friend and she copied and pasted the link about Thrive. And this is when I first came about it. I looked on Facebook and I followed the link and I went onto the website and I thought, oh, this could be quite good. And then I had a chat with her and she said how much it's helped her. And then I thought, why not give it a try? Like I've tried everything else, maybe this is the one for me. So my mum and dad paid for my therapy sessions and I found a consultant near me in Cardiff. Um, and then I started going and I got the book Cure Emetophobia and Thrive. And I went for about six sessions and followed the book religiously, did all the exercises. And I'm happy to say that I'm about 75% cured um, and I've never felt this great. In a long time, I've recently started going to restaurants with my fiancé um, and I've also tried to go to cinema. I also watch Lion King, which is a great achievement for me. And whenever I feel sick now, I kind of just think about what Thrive has taught me and how to deal with it and how to familiarise familiarise myself with the situation rather than getting all anxious about it. Um, and I also realised that through Thrive, you know, a lot of the sickness that I was feeling was through apprehension. So I've stopped that and slowly I'm, you know, trying to get my internal locus of control really, really strong. Um, and I'm just trying to be really positive in everything I do. I can't recommend Thrive highly enough. You know, I still can't believe it. Like back in October, I was a completely different person and now people look at me and they think, oh, wow, like... You know, something's really changed about you. And, you know, my life's great, relationships are great, relationship with my parents are great, it's all going well. Um, so I really, really do recommend Thrive and it's really, really helped to change my life around. There were a lot of things that I'd considered. Um, hypnotism, I've also tried, and I also tried or also heard about some other method and I was considering trying that. Um, but I don't know, something just pulled me towards Thrive and you know what, it's the best thing I've ever done and I just don't look back. Um, so yeah, I would recommend getting this book. It really, really helps and make sure that you're devoted to the book and you go through it step by step and you go through it thoroughly. I think it also says if you don't really know the content or you know, you have to aim to get 90% if you were to sit a test. And I think that's entirely true. Like you're not gonna get far if you don't put the effort. And I think it's really, really important that if you wanna succeed and if you wanna thrive and overcome your emetophobia, I really think it's important. So really, really do stick with it and you know, if there's anything that you know you need help with, don't be afraid to con um, you know contact a consultant or even Rob himself because he's amazing to talk to.